In this LinkedIn newsletter tutorial, I'm gonna show you how to set up your own LinkedIn newsletter so your content can reach more people than ever and give you five really quick but powerful tips to get the most out of having a LinkedIn newsletter. All right, let's jump into it. Welcome to 5-Minute Social Media, where we help overwhelmed entrepreneurs streamline their social media so they can actually make more revenue, make more profit with less work. If that sounds like something you'd like in your business, take a second, hit subscribe, click that bell. That way you'll be notified each week when we send out another helpful video. My name is Jerry Potter. Yes, it rhymes with the boy wizard. And in this video, I'm gonna walk you through how to set up a LinkedIn newsletter. Now, a LinkedIn newsletter is relatively new, last year, year and a half here, and now they're available to everybody. And the way it works is essentially LinkedIn has always had articles that you could write, which is sort of like a blog that's on LinkedIn. But now you can have people subscribe to your newsletter and they'll get notified whenever you publish one of your articles to your newsletter. Now, if your brain just went, wait, what, that's too much? Don't worry, we're gonna walk through it here step by step. But newsletters are really powerful because someone can subscribe to your newsletter even if they haven't sent you a connection request or haven't decided to follow you. So that's really powerful. Plus, whenever you publish a new article as a newsletter, they'll actually get notified in up to three places. They'll get a notification in their notifications. Uh, they will also probably see your newsletter in their feed if they're active on LinkedIn. And if they get email notifications, they'll get an email that your newsletter has just published a new update as well. Now you can do a LinkedIn newsletter from a company page, but in this tutorial, we're gonna walk through doing it on a LinkedIn profile. And you don't have to have a paid LinkedIn account. This is totally free to use. First thing you have to do though, is you have to turn on what's called creator mode. And if you haven't done that, or you've never heard of it, basically you're gonna scroll down to the resources section. And you can see right here, it says creator mode off. Click on that. It'll walk through and tell you what creator mode is, but I'll give you the short version. It gives you a whole lot more tools that you can use at, for marketing yourself on LinkedIn. Let's you do audio events, go live, newsletters, which is what we're doing in this tutorial. So on this screen, you can add up to five topics that'll show on your profile so people know kind of what you're all about. And then you hit turn on and it says creator mode is on. Second requirement, and I don't know if this is something that will be there forever, but you have to have created a post sometime within the last three months on LinkedIn. So basically, put up a post if you haven't in the last three months. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're going to go to the regular posting box here on LinkedIn, and then we're gonna choose write article. Now, if you're not familiar with articles, it's kind of like a blog post on LinkedIn, but your articles are what become your newsletters. So this opens the interface to create an article, and that's not what this tutorial is about. We wanna create a newsletter, but we have to take this step to create the newsletter. Up here at the top, you'll see it says create a newsletter. First thing you have to do is give your newsletter a title. Think about including who it's for or what it's specifically gonna be about because that's what people will see when they decide whether or not to subscribe to your newsletter. You're pretty limited on characters here. So I'm gonna just go ahead and call mine weekly social media tips. Next one is a drop down. How often do you want to publish? You are not committing to anything when you put this in here. And so uh, just choose what you think it's gonna be basically when someone decides whether or not to subscribe to your newsletter. If it's daily and they don't want to see a newsletter every day, then they may choose not to subscribe. I'm gonna go ahead and just choose weekly, but it's mainly there to give your subscribers or potential subscribers an idea of how often there will be a new newsletter. So I'll say weekly. Then you can add a description and here you've got about 300 characters characters to work with. So think about using terms that someone might be searching for on LinkedIn. I would make sure to include something that makes this seem really unique. So I'm going to say social media marketing tips for entrepreneurs that believe having followers is nice, but having buyers is better. Next, you can upload an image or a logo for your newsletter to increase engagement. If you are writing the newsletter and it's kind of a personal brand, I would recommend using your face. Otherwise, you could certainly put a logo there. Just know it'll show up kind of small in some places. They do recommend it being 300 by 300. A couple of things to know that they're telling us about down here. Your connections and followers will be invited to subscribe, but that's not gonna happen until you publish the first edition of your newsletter, okay? So it's not gonna happen right now, but when you do go to choose your first newsletter you're gonna publish, one, make sure that it fits the promise, the description of your newsletter and the title as well as possible. And two, you know, if you got five to choose from, make it a good one because that will be the first one that you get judged on. Then they let you know you'll be subscribed to your newsletter and that it'll be featured on your profile after you publish your first edition. So now I'm gonna hit done. And now here is the newsletter. 
And now I'm back into where we would write an article, which would become the newsletter. And you'll see this little drop down here. It says weekly social media tips. That's what I just called this newsletter. And then I click this drop down. And then I can also choose create an individual article. So if I wanted to put up an article and not have it be on my newsletter, not have my subscribers get notified, then I would choose that. But otherwise, you're going to have it go to your newsletter. For mine, it's the weekly social media tips. Now, let me give you five quick tips that make a massive impact on how successful your LinkedIn newsletter will be, okay? Number one, don't be intimidated by the word article. I know that feels heavy, but I know tons of entrepreneurs that are just using the article to embed their TikTok videos, or sometimes I'll put my YouTube videos in there. So it doesn't mean you have to go and write a 2,500 word article for that to be effective. Number two, you can use this to drive traffic other places. So maybe you have a blog. Take the first few paragraphs of your blog on your website, make them a LinkedIn article, and then, you know, make that valuable on its own, and then link back to the rest of it. Or if I had a playlist of YouTube videos, I might put the first video there, and then I say, hey, if you want to see this whole series, go watch the rest of these. Tip number three, encourage people to share or tag a friend. So for example, at the end of your article, you can always include something that says, hey, share this with someone else who feels this way or could benefit from this, anything like that. A lot of times people won't think to share until the suggestion has been made. Number four, I mentioned earlier that some people may subscribe to your newsletter who don't follow you, so you might ask them to follow you in your newsletter. Hey, if you enjoyed this article, then make sure to follow me or send a connection request if you want connection requests to get more content like this. And then number five, you can actually give your article two different titles. Why would you do that? Let me show you here. So I'm in an old article that I had on LinkedIn. I'm going to go to publishing menu and I'm going to go to settings. So every article has a settings and you can actually go in and give it a title that will be used for SEO. So search results on sites like Google will actually have a different title than the one that you have on LinkedIn. And you may want a different title. For example, on LinkedIn, you might use something that's more curiosity inducing, but on Google, you would absolutely want something that somebody was searching for. And then you can also have a separate description. Otherwise your SEO description just comes from the first few lines of your article. So the newsletter I created during this video is an actual newsletter that is now up and running, weekly social media tips. If you are on LinkedIn and you wanna to subscribe to that, I've linked to my profile and you can subscribe there. Just find the link in the description of this video. Was this helpful? Please let me know and I'll make more videos about LinkedIn marketing strategies by giving this video a like or leaving a comment. You're not only supporting me, but also my two tiny superheroes at home.